Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. So we have been given this problem. Find the sinusoids corresponding to these phasors. Part A. B bar is equal to minus 10 angle 30 degrees volts, and B part B I bar is equal to J uh, into 5 minus J 12 amperes. So let's begin with part A. So V bar is equal to minus 10 angle 30 degrees volts, right? So uh, in the time domain, this can be represented as VFT is equal to minus 10 cos omega t and plus 30 degrees volts. So to express it in the form of a standard function, uh, to remove this uh, negative sign here, to, and to transform into the positive cos function, uh, we need to either add 180 degrees or subtract 180 degrees from here, right? So for this, uh, uh, please see this uh, graph here. This is cos omega t here. This is minus cos omega t here. So uh, if we are to go from here, we can uh, to here, we can either go in this direction uh, plus 180 degrees or in this direction using minus 180 degrees. So VFT is equal to 10 cos omega t and if we add uh, 180 here so this will be 210 degrees volts or otherwise what we can do is we can subtract 180 from here so that will be in that case it will be cos omega t uh, uh, this will be uh, minus uh, uh, 150 degree volts so both these sinusoids are equivalent. If we draw it on the phasor diagram, we will get, uh, if we, uh, if we uh, uh, see it, uh, uh, the corresponding phasor on the phasor diagram, it will be uh, the same plot, right? Or alternatively, uh, we can first convert uh, the phasor uh, from, the minus, uh, from the minus sign to a positive function. For example, we are given this phasor here, V is equal to minus 10 angle, 30 degrees volts so minus 1 is equal to e to the power j 180 degrees and that's also is equal to e to the power minus j 180 degrees right and uh, uh, that is basically equal to one angle 80 degrees in the polar form or one angle minus 180 degrees so uh, we can transform this this is 10 angle 30 degrees and we can multiply it, it either with 180 degrees or with the minus um, uh, one angle minus 180 degrees. So this will be 10 angle 210 degrees volts. And uh, otherwise, if we multiply it with uh, one angle minus 180 degrees, this will be 10 angle minus 150 degrees volts. So in either case, we arrive at the same answer as here right so this is our answer for part a so for part b we are given i bar is equal to j 5 minus j 12 so this is basically uh, j 5 minus j square 12 so j square is minus uh, 1, so minus 1 multiplied by this minus here, so that will be plus uh, 12, right? So basically i bar is equal to 12 plus uh, j5, so that will be uh, 12 square, that is 144, plus uh, 5 square, that is 25, right? And square root, right? Square root angle 10 inverse. 5 over 12. So that is uh, 169 and the square root of 169 is 13 right and 10 inverse 5 over 12 so that can be done on calculator uh, 10 inverse 5 over 12 so that is 22.62 degrees 22.62 62 degrees amperes right so 
that can be transformed in the time domain the corresponding sinusoid is 13 cos omega t plus double two point six two degrees amperes so this completes our solution